Okay, so you got a speeding ticket. You took your cat to the vet. You found a new wine you like, and you tried Bobby Flay's new homemade pesto recipe. Oh, and don't forget this sweet $450 designer purse that I got for a hundred bucks. Mm-hmm. And everything's going well at the agency. Oh yeah, the agency's doing great. You know, David and I just signed a set of the most adorable identical twins. And we found some amazing actors at a show at, at Second City. <clears throat> mm-hmm. So, Maggie, how about the rest of your life? For the past couple of months, we've discussed everything under the sun except your personal life. And that's kind of the point of you being in therapy, isn't it? I mean, if you just wanted to chat, you could buy me a chai latte at Starbucks. <clears throat> yeah, um, well, uh, about that, Doc, I, I've been trying to work up the courage to tell you. Okay, here goes. What? Oh my God, you're gonna make me say it again, aren't you? Okay, okay, fine, here goes. <clears throat> I have been celibate for more than 20 years. There, I said it. Oh my God, I can't believe I just said that. I am such a loser. Maggie, <laughs> there's absolutely nothing to be ashamed of. I'm glad you finally told me because obviously you've been trying to cover up that particular elephant in the room with all this pointless chatter for the last eight sessions. Yeah. <sighs> Busted. <laughs> and now that the elephant has been revealed, we can discuss it. So, are you dating at all? Are you kidding me, Doc? <laughs> Just the thought of going on a date scares the crap out of me. I suck at it. Every date I've been on has been a complete disaster. The last guy I dated, he told me point blank that he did not find me at all attractive, but he wanted to worship my feet for money. So, did you take him up on it? Uh. Just kidding, I'm just kidding. I wouldn't even know where to start. I mean, LA is a frickin' jungle and it's dog eat dog out there. Start small. Have you considered signing up for a dating service? That way you'll be in complete control. You decide what goes on your profile. You decide who you want to respond to. And if you decide you want to go on a date, well, we can talk about that then. Oh, okay, that, that, that sounds doable. Um, you don't think my weight would be a problem? Maggie, come on. The average woman in America these days is a size 14. You can't be much bigger than that. No, you're right. Um, and thanks to spandex, I am a size 14. <laughs> it's good to know that I'm average. Okay, Maggie, our hour is up. But I want you to at least start a profile, and then we can talk about it next week. How does that sound? Put that personality of yours to work. <laughs> Okay, okay, Doc. I'll see you next week. Hey, Maggie, I'm 
me your favorite cupcakes. Thanks, Tess. You're amazing. Damn it. We're going to lunch. Ooh, cupcakes. Tess, nice. <laughs> Maggie, would you like anything from Chipotle? I'm not hungry right now, but if I do get hungry, I have cupcakes. Hi. Hey. I'm Maggie. Hi. I think it's true to find out. We had cupcakes again. Gum, gum. How did your callback go? Um, about Chris. Thanks, Megan. I hope you get it. Hey, guys, wait up. Wait, what's for lunch? Oh, hey, Maggie. Hey. <gasps> Hi, Ann. Hey. How was your callback? Good. Nice. Um. Yay. Oh, Tess, did you make these again? Go for it, girls. Listen, have a nice lunch. Don't be too long, though, because we're going to have a busy afternoon. And I will text you if I hear anything, OK? OK. All right. All right. Bye, Bye, ladies. Bye. Bye. Surprise, surprise, I uh, got you your favorite Chinese. You know, I have been celibate for longer than I care to think about. Wow, that came out of nowhere. Mm, yeah, Dr. Gerstein said that I should acknowledge it even if it makes me uncomfortable. Oh, come on, David, don't look at me like that. My, 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 are we properly dressed for your pity party? If you're going to have a party, you might as well have some food. Oh, okay. You well, know, I am trying to take charge of my love life here. But you know what? There is something so frickin' weird about dating in Los Angeles. I know what you mean. I'm a straight black guy who loves Barry Manilow. Are you sure you're straight? <laughs> <laughs> you know, the women's magazines have all these, like, stupid articles about the best places to find men. You know, the gym. <clears throat> oh, the library, the bookstore, walking your dog. Well, you know what? I've been to all those places. And? I've seen lots of guys. Mm. Garlic shrimp? Ooh, yummy. You know what? I might as well eat this stuff for every single meal because nobody cares if I have garlic breath. No one cares about my breath either. Except maybe my mother. I've met your mother. Sorry, Mom. <laughs> Sorry, Mom. <laughs> okay, so since it's True Confessions Tuesday, do you know where I've been the last couple Friday nights? How's that? Well, I've been to a couple different grocery stores, and then I, I lurk in the produce department. I mean, guys need to eat too, right? So. Why not the grocery store? Mm -hmm. Dr. Gerstein said that I should start small and work my way up. And now, I have enough salad mix in my fridge to feed a whole army of supermodels. <laughs> so you just lurking around the produce aisle? Yep. Pinching the tomatoes? Yep. <laughs> Max, you are such a hussy. <laughs> so how can you tell if the guys are single or married? Oh, that's easy. Pampers. But you know the dead giveaway? Maxi pads. Only a married guy would buy maxi pads. You're right about that. that. That's a dead giveaway, that's for sure. Oh, well, and then there's the guys pushing around their shopping carts full of Bud Light and Cheetos. I would spend my life watching sports and fighting for the remote. At least you are a gentleman, and you let me watch Fixer Upper every once in a while. Well, thank you, my lady. <laughs> oh, <laughs> 
Thank you. <laughs> Guys schlepping 50 pound bags of dog food are better, but not much. I mean, you know about my cats, right? <laughs> I guess it eliminates the walk your, your dog option. Mm hmm. Hmm. Yeah, well, I guess you have to teach your cat how to walk on a leash, right? <laughs> you don't know much about cats, do you? Oh, and then there's a the laundromat. You know, maybe I am a snob, but at my age, I think any guy worth dating ought to, at the very least, have a stackable washer and dryer. No, Mags, you, you, you're not a snob. You're just bougie. <laughs> <laughs> but, so, but what if they just send it out, though? No, it's nice if you can afford it. Mm -hmm. <laughs> um, but then, and then there's the, then there's the bookstore. God, I love bookstores. But I always get so distracted in there because you know how I love to read. Yeah, me too. Mm. But are you sure that bookstores are a prime spot? Well, apparently bookstores are a happy hunting ground, but the only guys I ever see are the ones who think it's not at all weird to have four Big Macs for lunch. And besides, I, I just order books off Amazon anyway. What about a place where you can go hang out at, like a bar? Some place where there's lots of dancing. No, no, I, 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 I'm not much of a drinker, and I hate loud music, and I suck at dancing. You do not suck at dancing. Yes, I do. No, you yes, don't. Yes, I do. No, you don't. No, yeah. David. No. Yeah. No, yeah. David. No, 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 no. Come on. No, 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 no. Oh, no, 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 Wow. See, I told you I suck at dancing. No, you you know you you don't suck mm -hmm. at dancing. How's your foot? I have a spare. I have Damn a spare. good thing, too. <laughs> <laughs> oh no, besides any place that is so where the music is so loud that they can't hear my witty remarks is not the place to show off my scintillating personality. Okay, I agree with you on that, but that's why you have a good friend. Introduce you to someone. Well, yeah, I, I, I could do that, I suppose, but I don't want to end up dating somebody's weird third cousin who's never been married and lives with his mother. What is wrong with living with your mother? Oh. Sorry, Mom! <laughs> and then, you know, then there's that whole agent thing, you know, actors. Ugh. Actresses are worse. Hashtag... No, thank you. Oh. Yeah, I'll bet you have to beat him off with a stick. So, Ms. Reed, what are you going to do to remedy this truly pathetic situation? Well, Dr. Gerstein said that it might be good for me to just, you know, dip my toe in. And? So, I decided to put up a profile on Matchmates.com. <laughs> really? It's not just for losers anymore! <laughs> really? Uh-huh. <laughs> Tell me about it. Well, I poured a glass of wine and I sat down at my computer to create the perfect profile. That light touch of devil may care spontaneity coupled with an appealing and yet truthful way of describing my appearance that would have good looking guys beating down my door. Yeah, that appearance thing, that was the hardest part of all of this. Why? You, you look fine, really. Well. I'm overweight, and that's a big deal with guys, right? Well, maybe some guys. Not me. What? Nothing. Well, now, I know I'm not huge, but I could stand to lose about mm, 30 pounds. Come on, Maggie. You have nothing to be ashamed of. Okay, mister, I have nothing to be ashamed of. 50 pounds. You don't let a girl get away with anything, do you? Jeez. 
And all those little euphemisms for overweight, <sighs> chubby, Zoftig, Rubenesque, voluptuous, pleasantly plump. Guys know that those mean that you're fat. So you know what I came up with? What? <laughs> Lushly upholstered. <laughs> <laughs> Home bags. That's good. It just screams comfort. comfort. <laughs> yeah, I thought it gave me this curvy red velvet sofa kind of feeling, you know? <laughs> kind of like a French bordello. Mwah! Ooh la la. Hey, oui, monsieur. <laughs> well, so anyway, this is what I came up with. Not surprised. Hey. <laughs> <laughs> sit on a hard chair when there are overstuffed recliners? Why settle for a flute when you can play the tuba? Why eat rice cakes when there's mocha chocolate fudge ice cream? Mm, I love mocha chocolate fudge ice cream! <laughs> and as for me, I'm 5 feet 10 inches tall and I weigh... I, I don't really think I have to give him a, a number, do you? Okay, okay, okay. I have silvery blonde hair, sparkling blue eyes, and a fetish for silver jewelry. I'm fun, witty, smart, educated, sexy, lushly <laughs> upholstered <laughs> woman who's comfortable in her own skin. I'm looking for a smart, tall, handsome someone who appreciates these attributes. Hmm. Yeah, that fits you perfectly. <laughs> so, um... What do you think? Maggie, it was like you go out with me on Friday night. Oh, Miss Rello! Night down! Angela, Angela, you go over the wall! Senor David, tengo que aspirar antes que se me escape el polvo. Cleanliness is next to godliness. I want to take you out, me and you, on a date, on a real date.